We begin tonight with the lingering aftermath of that school bus crash in Alamance County. Good evening, I'm Chad Silber. And I'm Sydney Moore. We met two of the students on the bus when it went flying into a building in Graham. WFMY News 2's Taylor Leverett learned how they're handling the trauma of what happened. The bus went all the way over there. We got so scared. Seven year old Leslie Prado shares what it was like for her and her sister moments before their school bus went off the road and into a building. Leslie says the impact forced her and several other students out of their seats. We were like one kid that was bleeding from his head, then a boy who was bleeding from his mouth. The girls, she couldn't talk, she couldn't, she couldn't walk. Little did they know their dad, Bernie Prado, was two cars behind the school bus watching the entire accident unfold. Bernie Prado's friend Gerardo Morrow was driving along Highway NC 87 when he captured the bus on his dash cam moments after the crash happened. At the moment, you're not thinking what's going on. You're just trying to make sure your kids are safe. Bernie Prado says he helped to pull kids from the bus while the first thing on everyone's mind were getting the kids to safety. Leslie Prado's concern was her bus driver, Ronald Farrow. And I was going to help with the run, but he was too heavy. And he he said, tell me to go to go to to the, to the ground. The Prado family is thankful they were able to walk away, but both girls say they're hesitant to ride the bus again. 